Hi friends. In this session, uh, I'm going to explain you uh, how to declare an integer array uh, and key in some numbers and find out the largest element in that array. Okay. Fine. Let's get into the video. Now. <coughs> I'm the IDE. I'm just creating a class here. <coughs> okay. Just click on the banking right click, go to new and then click on plus. Just give any name <coughs> and then uh, you can see public static void main that should be that checkbox has to be ticked. So, okay, and then click on finish. <coughs> now we have created the we have created a class called L A R R. The class name of the class is L A R R, and uh, here you can see the constructor for this class and then the main method for this class. All right. So now, <coughs> um. Now we what we are going to do like uh, now let me tell you like uh, we are going to declare the <coughs> integer array and uh, get the input from the end user okay I mean few numbers I mean whatever the elements the 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 array is going to have those elements are uh, key uh, given as the input by the end user okay once the uh, end user key in the inputs uh, this program i mean this uh, uh, this class this program is going to find out uh, which is the largest element in that integer array okay let me create now <coughs> let me declare the integer array integer uh, let's say private static int integer array <coughs> I have declared the integer array. And then the array size should be declared. Start int. Then I declare a max variable, which is assigned with minimum uh, <coughs> value. Okay. Just to find out the max number, uh, max, uh, <coughs> I mean the largest element in the array, I'm going to use this max variable. Uh, so it is assigned with a value integer dot main value. So minimum value in the integer that's assigned to this variable max. Okay. <coughs> Alright. And then here in main method, let's come here, the constructor is here. And, uh, we have nothing to do with the constructor as of now in this uh, program. So we get into the main method. Here in main method, <coughs> what I do, I create. A, uh, I need to get the input from the end user. So I am gonna use the scanner. Class. Here it comes from import it Java dot util dot. You see this. You see the scanner, right? So scanner class is here. So I'm going to use this class. So this class will help us to get the input from the end user. So scanner sc equal to new scanner. And within this, we need to give system dot in. So that is the input string. Okay. So whatever the end user uh, key in, um, uh, actually they. May <coughs> they key in in the input stream, right? So the, that's been pulled out using scanner class. Now, <coughs> now we are gonna get the. We need to ask the end user to key in the size of the array, right? So. So just text in that enter the size of the array okay that is int 
okay and here we just so <coughs> already we have declared the array size variable that should be assigned so how do we get that so sc uh, scan class object reference as it you can see next int you can see a method <coughs> named next int next int so you need to select this so that the whatever the end user key in that um, that's been accessed and get stored in the variable array size okay in this variable it, it got stored now Mm. All right, uh, here I have given Z. That's the reason it doesn't show. It shows an error. Uh, I need to give array size. Okay. Okay. Now the error uh, went off. Okay. Now <coughs> we got the array. So we need to create the array. Right? So we got the size of the array from the end user. So we need to create the array. So just uh, the name of the array variable is arr equal to new int. Okay. And within this bracket, you need to give the array size array size okay <coughs> so so whatever the end user wishes I mean uh, with some size now the array is created uh, with the end user uh, given input I mean whatever the end user uh, uh, Whatever the uh, array size we got it from the end user, the with that size, uh, the this integer array has been created. Okay, and now we are gonna do. Uh, we need to get the uh, each and el uh, every element uh, from the end user, right? So we just to create an we create <coughs> a for loop. Here I'm just uh, let me declare int i equal to zero i less than um, that is size i plus plus. Okay, so this uh, loop will iterate till the uh, when for uh, array array size number of times okay if the array size is 5 it will iterate for 5 times so it, uh, each time it will get in a, it will fetch the number from the uh, input stream um, where the end user key in the input okay so now uh, input i equal to 0 i less than or equal to array size i plus plus The array name is array of i. First, we need to ask the end user. So, system dot out print ln. Here, give the text. Enter the array i. So this statement system out dot print ln statement will uh, 
syntax error on it shows a error delete Okay, let me see. Uh, here I have just printed. I'm just asking. Uh, I mean, uh, this statement it will ask the end user to enter the array element, each and every element. And once uh, that element has to be stored, so array of i equal to sc dot. <coughs> Next int. So <coughs> the next statement. Uh, this statement. Let me see that. Um, okay. Uh, Here it shows all right. <coughs> okay, fine. Next, um, I have created uh, the I mean uh, this statement what it does like uh, array of i equal to sc dot next int so every time uh, each and every time uh, the for loop iterates the end user key in the text uh, element integer array uh, value that that's been stored in the array of i so each time <coughs> when it once it go it's it got stored in the array of i uh, we are going to check uh, if array of i greater than or equal to max. In that case, if array of i is greater than or equal to max, then assign max equal to array of i. Okay. Um, here you can you can print. Now, <coughs> why do we give you here uh, if array of i greater than or equal to max? So initially we get uh, so first time when it iterates uh, here it comes right. So here system dot output. So here what we do like we just uh, uh, here the text output comes enter the array of zero and we just uh, consider that uh, end user we key in seven and what what happens in the next statement this um, this statement it takes the the seven got stored in the array of i because uh, whatever we key in in the input stream it's been accessed using the sc object and it got stored in the array of i and once the uh, array of i now array of 0 now can, has the value 7 so array of 0 the value 7 greater than or equal to max value max what what does it have it, uh, it has one uh, minimum, uh, minimum integer value that is in minus value right so 7 greater than that so that uh, yeah, array of 0 the, seven, the value 7 got stored in this max and next uh, again the uh, for loop it reads and comes uh, 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 the second value will, will be asked enter the array of 1 here we are going to give again some other number just consider 5 and it checks uh, 5 has been stored in the array of 1 5 got stored here 5 got stored and then uh, array of 5 okay 5 greater than here array of uh, sorry array of 1 what uh, what is the value array of one has? It has a value five. So five greater than or equal to 
max max it does have, uh, it has the value 7 so 5 greater than or 7 greater than or equal to 7 it checks um, 5 is not greater than so it is not true so it, it this statement if it is not true this statement will not uh, will not get executed okay so max value would be 7 so in that way it goes the all the till the uh, array size the for loop iteration happens and it finds out the largest element in the integer array all right let's go to print print and here we want to print the largest value in the integer array that is x okay here i am just writing the largest value in the integer array mm, array name is uh, max okay got printer and uh, that's it so here it shows an uh, error message here uh, I'm just trying to use um, ok no issues we can have uh, this number just number array of 1 or you can have array of 1 Right, so just we have created the program. I mean, um, we're gonna run this. So I'm just uh, right the program. Okay, here in the console you can see enter the. Sorry, I have uh, given some enter instead. I have done something. Enter. Okay. Let me uh, run again. Here you can see in the console you can see enter the size of the array right it asks you to enter the size of the array so let me make it let me enlarge the screen uh, here you can see it it asks us to enter the size of the array okay so I'm gonna give the size of the array is um, 5 okay. and I'm, I'm I just enter I just press the enter key and it sh it asks me to enter the enter the array of zero. I'm gonna give seven. Enter. It asks now it asks me to enter the array of one. Let me give some other number eight. Again it two. Now it asks me to enter the array of two. Five. Four. Mm. Again, six. Now it uh, the program got executed and uh, the output uh, we can see the output, right? So here it shows the largest value in the integer array in array is eight. You can see it here, eight. So eight is the number I have given. That is the largest number, right? Here, array of one. 8 I have given here that is that 8 is the largest number number that element the largest element of the integer array has been um, I mean um, that largest element of the integer array has been uh, found and uh, it got printed alright I believe you understand uh, the the flow and uh, you know uh, how to declare and uh, <coughs> uh, key in some how to declare the integer array and key in some elements some value and find out the largest element of the integer value all right
all right friends uh, let me catch you with other topics uh, in the coming sessions thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel um, so that uh, you will be notified <coughs> with the uh, whenever i post some videos you will be notified of the upcoming sessions kindly subscribe the channel um, you can also comment on the <coughs> um comment options all right so thanks for watching bye bye